Now. One okay, so since my girlfriend, I think, is in the chat, I'm going to start at very early. We were in a giant mimic. Now we're not in a mimic anymore. We're back in the real world, quote unquote, the real world. What this place is called, Bytopia. It's shaped like uh, two pyramids with their points up, their points touching almost. It's wild, fam. Um, and we are right now doing a casino heist. I don't know why. But it sounds fun, so we're doing it. And right now, we have to get... We, we already got uh, the HR director's uh, piece of paper stationary to write out a little uh, notes, to write out notes to all the people who are uh, um, going to be quote-unquote fired or, or their pay is being lowered. I'm not really sure. But... Um, that's what we were told to get. We got it. So we got that one piece. I told I told them to just go copy it. Um, and now we have to go to the head of the financials department to get his his uh, thingy, his stationery, I think. And he's a mind flayer, but only Carly knows that. And then we're going to be pretending to feed a giant, what's it, what is it? Kraken. I only have Carlos written down, Kraken. We're going to feed a giant, we're going to feed a giant Kraken named Carlos. And while that's happening, uh, the other team is going to be um, getting the rid of security, I think. I think. Hold on. This is sad. Reading my notes again. Donnie will take care of things and Donnie's a duck. That's it, basically. We already got the one piece of paper. What? We have the one piece. We can end the series now. Exactly. And you fool, one piece <laughs> never ends. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. I'm Carly, a bard, half-elf pretty clearly the leader here. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> but yeah, so now uh, we are um, um, we just hit level 5. Oh yeah, that's right. We did, didn't we? Holy crap. About yeah. That. Yay! Um, and I have down written here the three strokes of midnight strike at sunrise. I don't know what that means, but I felt it important enough to write it down. Yeah, I'm not going to lie here. It's been a while. It that has. Sounds How do I say familiar. This game again? It sounds familiar, but I don't remember from what. <laughs> I think that's what Donnie said to Pam. Pam, the head of HR. And Donnie the Duck said to Pam, head of HR, when we gave him the, when we gave her the piece of paper. Cause Pam's in on it too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Pam and from HR's in on it. She is. She's very in on it. Yeah. How? Okay. Here's my question that we never really talked about, um, as far as I can remember. How are we getting from killing the? head of financials because we're not going to fucking charm a mind flare. <laughs> what are we going to get from there to where the money is? Or are we just going to trust Donnie to give us money? <laughs> uh, wait, what happened? I missed a lot. So, uh, maybe maybe yeah. that's something you should ask Donnie. Maybe you guys should go back over the plan with Donnie in, in the game. But you are currently at, that is your full understanding of the game. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck am 
I listening to? What just happened? <laughs> you're, you're, I recounted what we know of the um, uh, casino heist here, and I'm confused a little bit about how we get from killing the head of financials to... We didn't, how we, we get didn't... from point A to point B to point C. I don't know how we get from killing the Mind Flayer, the head of HR, to the Carlos' oh. feeding team. And how we get from there to where the money is. Oh, I, I, I left that to you because apparently Florence has been not clued in. Keep this in mind, Florence has not been clued in. Oh yeah, you're, you're just there. Yeah, no, uh, that's what Florence is guessing. To be like fair, that. I don't think uh, Wedge has any clue what's going on either, so. Yeah, but he's fine with being able to murder something. Realistically, Mike probably has the most information on the situation right now. Mike. Mike. Yeah. Shame. Mike. No. Shame. Shame, shame. No, no. Mike. Mike is a good noodle. <laughs> yeah, Mike is cool. If I remember correctly, that's the <laughs> Modron that is... Yeah, right, right, right. Because so, Lawrence is cool with that. So the Modrons are in on it. We know that. Um, But that di that dinosaur... Jesus. That dragon that we were at for last game, where that, ch that couch was that had tongues cast on it, he was not in on it. You mean the dragon that's the room, and not the... Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to say this adventure is already full of more unique things than most adventures have. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of wild here, fam. Just a little wild. Um, I apologize for that. I kind don't. <laughs> I don't right. apologize. Anyway, you guys, uh, you guys are still uh, just outside now. I think you had just handed off that paperwork, so you're over here in the bottom... Right at the casino. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's up to you what you want to do now in the time. I think you still have a couple of hours before the, the heist is planned to go off. As so, well as the time enough for Florence to get the hell out of this thing. So I pick, I pick up Donnie, because I think Donnie's right here beside me. All right. And I say, I say... I have a question. I want to be clear on something here. Sonny says, uh, Quack. I don't, I don't know what he's saying. He where's, said, where's what's his name? I'm right here. Tatharis. Hello. What the fuck is his name again? Katharis. My name's Katharis. Thank you. I'm a little insulted. No, I would never forget your name. Or where my Catharis? What? Sorry, I was forgetting. Anyway. So what did he say, Donnie? Or what did he say, Catharis? Oh, he said, what's up? So, real quick. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little unsure of where we go from here. So I know we've got to kill the head of financials. Wait a minute, why do we have to kill the head of financials? Because I don't think I don't think this this plan is going to work a second time. Oh really? What what mm -hmm. what what, do you, what gives you that idea? Well, I mean, surely they must talk. They know the 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 employees know that a, a little uh, um switcheroo of some paperwork happened last last time yesterday earlier today when was that earlier today um <laughs> and and i i just i really don't think it'll happen twice i know that but what's now okay normally you're all for plans like this but what's changed this time what's so different about this one uh i'm feeling bloodlust mm-hmm Inside check this shit. <laughs> Inside check this shit. Did somebody say go for it. A solid. 12. <laughs> a solid twelve. Yeah. I got a twenty-two. You believe me? She doesn't <laughs> not believe you. So. 
Yeah. So we just, you know, got to kill this guy. So we get from, we go to kill, we go to kill this guy. So we, we kill the guy. That's fine. We also, we're, we're currently walking outside the building. I'm just missing some parts of this plan. I am too. That's why I'm getting, that's why I'm trying to get here, uh, uh, what we need here. So w we're going to kill this guy because he's the head of financials. We need, a we need some paperwork from him. Is it um, just a guy guy like uh human? That's guy? a metagame question, Jewel. Jewel, I feel like you're metagaming. No, me. no, no, you no, you just said it's a guy. Are you talking guy, guy like human guy? guy? How dare you we... assume his gender? Can I do Don't that metagame well? me, Jewel. No, I'm Don't not. medicating you, people. How am I metagaming you? I'm just asking. What Why would you ask if it's a human guy? Because you're saying a guy like that's what it is. You're making it you didn't, you didn't ask what um the head of what's her name is. She was a demon. Yeah, no, no. Now she. I'm curious. What does this guy look like? What is this guy? Well, I have no idea what he looks like. What you don't know what he looks what, like. I don't know what he looks like, but I'm sure he'll stand out. So, Donnie, my question why, is... Wait a minute, why would he stand out? He's in a high position of power. I might as well ask Donnie, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Donnie, can you please answer my question after you're done with hers? Whack. I give, I give Donnie a look. And I give Katharis a look. <laughs> Katharis is like, what does that mean? What happened to your eye? <laughs> What? So, something's wrong with your eye. What happened to it? <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just, you know, my eye twitches sometimes when people are, people have the, uh, the, uh, uh, ability to be dumb. Oh, yeah, me too. My eye's always twitching. Mm, I wonder why. It is a mystery. Anyway, mm. uh, Cathoris. Wait, no, I'm Cathoris. Or am I insulted? <laughs> I can't remember anymore. Anyway, what I do have to say is uh, that Donnie says that we shouldn't talk about the plan here out in the open. Okay, Donnie, where should we go? He said we should find a nice, quiet corner or room. Okay, so you don't like outside. Do you want to turn back around? He says not that room. That room's small. Not this okay, I sit Donnie back down. Donnie, lead the way, please. Whack. Oh, we're... Okay. Okay. There's a dragon head in here, too. Is this one also a real dragon? Whack. Well, that entirely depends on what you mean by real. There's our answer. Okay. Do you happen to have any loose teeth? No, do not go harassing it for the... I would never harass a dragon. Okay. With scales, anything I can help you with? No. I would never let a wedge. I think this dragon's gonna roll insight. And I will freaking assist this shit. <laughs> because I've insight. seen this shit. <laughs> Ah, which, statement, which, which statement is, is... <laughs> on the, <laughs> the last part? I'd gladly help you. <laughs> that is all. Well, I would never harass a dragon. <laughs> so Jewel, Jewel is on the. I would never harass the dragon. The dragon is is. I would gladly help you with any loose teeth or scales. Okay. So the dragon. Oh, fourteen. Ooh, the dragon can tell you're full of shit. I'm not. I would. I would gladly help him because I want to keep the dragon. <laughs> yeah, you would gladly rip him out of his mouth. I don't know if that's helping. True. <laughs> yeah. Florence is kind of just standing oh, protectively like close sentence. towards the dragon, like, yeah, let's not do that. She's like, Florence. What was your what was your insight roll? Uh, Axel. Or was that just a joke? That was a joke on my end. Oh, cool, cool. Oh my yeah, God. yeah, it's fine. If you wanted to, you could go through with it. But yeah, the dragon figured out what it wanted to do, which was just like, is she honest? She's just like, no, she just wasn't my yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Lord, I, I just want, I just, I'm, I'm a helper. Anyway, Donnie. 
Are we in a cool space? Like, is this dragon down? Quack. Donnie said uh, Brutus is cool. Uh, Donnie also told, hey, said, hey, Brutus, uh, we need the map. At which point the, uh, the dragon uh, spits up a map. I take it. It is a little gross. I've had grosser. Tee hee. <laughs> I was a thousand percent. That was a thousand percent on purpose. Hey, look, Jules here now. Wedge is still outside, Hello. though. Just looking at Mike. <laughs> Mike. Shame. Anyway. No. It's too bad there's so no other Motrons around. <laughs> Anyway. I fucking love that. Wedge is the Modron now that now that there's no other Modrons around other than Mike. <laughs> Pretty much. So, uh. Okay, so now that we're in a safe spot, so now let's sort this out. Whack. Yeah. Catharis. Uh, Donnie said yes. Okay, so let's start with her. Uh, start with her question as she's. Yes. Let. Let's just go over the plan just one last time. All right, so uh, Donnie From here. Donnie says quack, and Thoris tells you to spread the map out on the table. I spread the map out on the table. All right, cool. So now that you've done that, yeah, the map is actually a map of the casino. So it's a map of this map. Oh, worm, cool. Anything cool? Uh, not really. But uh, he Batman. does have a like an inkwell and he dips his beak in it and starts to draw okay and he says quack 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 and he circles this and draws a line over here okay that's done we did that yep so he's gonna put a check mark well he's gonna put a check mark minus hey I did very well quack Donnie says that's a relative term. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who got the stationary? Was it you, Duck? Quack. Johnny, Donnie just grabs a piece of stationary. He's like, quack, relative. <laughs> anyway. Different stationary. And Florence, Florence kind of says, anyway, what part? And it was Florence sighs and listen to this. All right, says, so okay, then. Mm -hmm. We ooh, ooh. Okay, Quack. so back where we were this morning. Donnie says we have to go all the way up here to find the head of financials. We gotta get his credentials. And credentials. Which... Yes. So okay. his credentials are basically his password and stuff. And which Florence uh this point says it... okay. What does this guy look like? I mean, I'm I interrupt her and I say, I interrupt her and I say, is it, is it a, like a spoken password or is it just like a number password? Back, Donnie shrugged. I don't know how he shrugged verbally, but he did it. It was amazing. And Florence said, that says, okay, but what does this guy look like? We've, I have not heard a thing and she's been innovating this. I hear it's a guy, but is it, is it like a guy guy? Back. Or... Donnie says he's a cool six foot three, uh, oily looking motherfucker. He's smooth with the ladies. He's got a big dong. <laughs> That's all he's heard. No. Uh, also, he has some face tentacles. Is that enough of a description, please? Oh, did you want more? Uh, yeah, he also likes to spend his weekends trolling for. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I was asking, and what would it be to figure out what the hell this thing is? Because it's just something uh, like a normal I'm human I'm guessing being. nature would probably be our best bet for this one. <laughs> roll low, roll low. Oh, goodness. Nat 20. Oh, there you go. All right, so it's, uh, you, you see, you hear all this, you think about the, 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 the thing, and you're like, oh, man, this might be, uh, this might be either a squid dressed as a person, or a mind flare. 
Octodad. <laughs> and which floor is probably gonna go with the ladder since a squid dressed up is hilarious, but uh, she would have to at least put that as a back option, like a B, plan B. After everything you've seen now. <laughs> Because yeah. you truly discount squid in a trench coat. Yeah, but at the same token, the five player sounds about accurate. Oh, you know it could be a human dressed as a squid. It's true. True. Oh my gosh, you... <laughs> unbelievable, you two. What? You guys are unbelievable. Are you saying this in character? I feel like she's just yeah. angry because we believe in the squid theory. <laughs> No. We're talking about whether this person is either a mind flayer, a squid dressed as a human, or a human dressed as a squid. I'm really leaning towards the human dressed as a squid. You know what it might be is a human dressed as a squid dressed as a human. True. A human dressed as a squid dressed as a human. Yeah. We're getting we're getting layers into this like Inception Cos levels. Cosplayception. I'm just saying. Very possible, uh, okay. at least in my adventure. Anyway, so he says, yeah, we got to get there. We got to figure out his credentials, <laughs> whether it be a passcode, a card, a okay, series no. of numbers, a <laughs> mystical eldritch being from another dimension. You're going to have to do some research. Florence. Uh, recently... uh, Florence. Think of all the magical things we're going to learn just looking for this password. Here's the problem with this. That part of the plan needs to go off at the same time as a couple other parts of the plan. Meanwhile, Florence is like, okay, so... Um... Or, or at least in very quick succession. Okay. So I don't know what question. any of those words mean, but Donnie told me to say them exactly how he said them. Okay, so it's a possibility that we're... No wonder you might... That makes starting to make sense why you want to maybe kill it. Uh, but uh, kill it, Carly. But one small problem with this plan. And mm -hmm. just, killing a mind flare is not an easy joke uh, task. What's a mind flare? If it is one. What's a mind flare? She doesn't <laughs> have arcane knowledge of that, and you guys have never met one. Mm -hmm. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Out of character. I thought, didn't Carly know what it is? Yeah, out of she, character. She, like, she, she knows it's a mind. She knows it's a mind flare. She doesn't know what a mind flare is in character. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Didn't we roll like ages ago? And I was yeah, like, oh, I yeah. know that is in the stories. Maybe I thought that. that yeah, was... yeah. I think she did because I remember That's hearing it. Uh, maybe I was I just missing it. it from out of character. No, because I, um, I do remember her I could, rolling for it. I could re-roll if you want a, a history or a nature. See, this is why I'm, I wish all the rolls were done in roll 20, because then I can keep track of them. I mean, I've been rolling in roll Yeah, 20 yours are easy to keep track of because of that. I have not been. Nor has Michael. I've he he uses between... Beyond's roller, which is... Ugh. I've been switching between uh, real dice and D and D beyond dice. I only ex I only take the exception of real dice. <laughs> Michael <laughs> does it, but I don't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want me to re-roll? I can. No, it's fine. If you had already had the knowledge, then you're good. Uh, but okay. I don't know how much of the knowledge that she knows. Uh, that I don't remember. Yeah, neither do I. And but I. I mean, not without going, you know, breaking forth. Let's see if I have written it down. Um, I have eaten down in here. Under head of financials, know absolutely nothing about him. Mind flayer, evil innate psionic powers, does have detect thoughts, big persuasion and insight. That's what I have written down. See, and some of those I wonder if are in character or out of character. Well, That's I guess it's also wonder. I don't know. Hmm. All I good mean, questions. Okay. All tough times. I well, mean, I could re-roll and let, let us know again. Quack. Donnie says, however we do it, whether we kill him or steal it or 
make a deal. Who knows? I don't care how you do it. You just got to get this info. Okay. Alrighty. So here's where it becomes starting to be a problem. This does have to be done first, but nearly right after it, which is where some of our new magic equipment's going to come in. Quack. Donnie, how are you able to express such insight in one word? <laughs> uh, uh, should I be concerned? Quack. No. Donnie Absolutely. says maybe. <laughs> good, good. So I'm not the only one that's at least a little concerned, because... Like we just discussed, it could be the squid thing or a mind flare, in which it's the if it is indeed. Where's I don't think it's a mind flare. So, quack. Donnie, uh, Donnie comes and he uh, puts another line down here. And he points down to this area, and he says that quack under this area, actually not in this area, but under this area is a secret security room. This is actually where the vault access, not access chambers, but like the access input. So yeah, this is where you would put in the password to get inside the vault. That's where we need to get the, that's where we need to take the director of financials password. Yes, except here's the problem. That needs to go down at almost the exact same time as this, right, which is the team that is going to, uh, they actually have to do it and then coordinate it over here. Sorry. Eh. Eh, eh. Ah, now I can't undo more than one. Jacques. Anyway, uh, it would come from wherever we're at at the time two over here which is where the uh the feeders for uh carlos are getting ready right in the center uh no up here in the right they're getting ready up here and then they're going to feed carlos over here if they kept all his food near where he eats they'd never be able to keep it from him okay then again, he just eats whatever he wants. Uh, and that needs to go down at the exact same time as basically this and this. And here's the reason why. The mat we know that whatever the magical uh shit. I mean sorry. Whatever not the magical, but whatever the uh passcode or credential is for this mind player and he's gonna know that you have it pretty much like five or ten minutes after you get it and not just him but the security team will know so you basically have to give it to someone to use over here at nearly the exact same time which they use that to open up the bank vault pretty much almost at the exact same time that these people fake feed carlos drugs and then go you know uh into the vault from there okay so it's not actually us then who are going to be fake feeding carlos well uh, here's the thing a lot of these need to be done at the same time and we don't have a lot of people free to do shit okay so so, it so is. yeah so here's the thing we'll need at least one person over here to get the the thingy. We'll need probably one to two people over here to take out security. Because we have the code, but security knows that it's not us that has that code. So we're going to have to beat him up. Okay. That sounds like a job for me. It's almost like it was planned that way. Cough. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to need at least one, possibly two people for the food. Hmm. Now, there are technically ways to get around certain things. So, for instance, we can take these guys out a little ahead of time, right? Mm-hmm. And... Now, take out, do you mean knock out? Do you mean kill? That's up to you. I will say that if they show up to the feeding thing, you're not going to have a good time. And actually, Donnie has more details about that if 
for whoever is, uh, he has a plan. Interesting. I'm interested in taking out security first. Because we have some, we have some time. I believe we have a couple hours before we have to do all this. So what if we take out security first? Uh, security changes shifts every once in a while. You do have a small window of time where you can take out security, uh, kind of after, you know, before the next shift where the next shift isn't going to switch before the heist goes off. And that'll be okay. roughly an hour or so before the heist. I like that. We could do that. My only worry is we would still need to have enough magic in us that if the Mind Flayer puts up a fight, we can t we can deal with that. It's true. If you intend to fight it, which may not be the best plan. So after the shift change, how long do we have until the next shift change? So the shift changes every, I think it's two hours. So basically you have that hour before and then... You have a couple shift changes in between now and then. I think it's still like five or six hours to the heist. I'm trying to remember what time it is exactly. Oh, I could tell you. I have that written down. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I love that that piece of specific information is down, but then you just have like that three strokes to midnight shit. And you're just like, I have no fucking clue. I have no idea what the fuck it's for. I, I felt like it was important, so I wrote it down. I should probably look um, through my notes and not rely entirely on my memory. Let's see. Um, Carly woke up at 3.30 a.m. And then that's when we started the whole Karen adventure with the head of HR. Which so was... probably like 4.30, if that. Okay, good to know. So we've already done the fake pay cut. Although that might actually require some work in the meantime now. Uh, we Listen, I didn't tell the lady. Security code. Because what I was thinking was before we do the whole entire heist thing, wait until the last shift change so we have about an hour or an hour to two hours for the next shift change. Wherein mm -hmm. after the shift for we do the heist, I'll just snap the next. I'm inclined to agree. And then that will give us an hour or so until the next shift change to complete the heist. And it will also give us an extra person, since we're only three fucking people. Uh, it would also give us an extra person to deal with the mind flare. But I'm interested in this deal you mentioned. How to make a deal with a mind flare. Sounds like we'd be cutting him in on some of our profits. Black. I'm inclined to agree. Ooh. Johnny says the profits are pretty big, but they're also being cut pretty far already. I thought yeah. you just said we didn't have very many people. Well, to do this part of the heist, there's other parts of the heist that are being yeah, done. Now, that leads me to my other question. There question. Before. I'm 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 getting there. That leads me to my other question, though. Um, so the people who are fake feeding Carlos are the ones who are going to be handling the money, right? Hello. Yeah, they should be the ones going down into the thing. Okay, so we probably should have two people with fairly large bags. Well. Johnny has well, Johnny has pieces to this plan. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to ask one more question, and then I'm going to let you continue, Johnny. Um, what's what's the bad thing about us making a deal with this mind flare, cutting this mind flare in, and then killing the mind flare? Well, Donnie says, uh, I mean, that's up to your personal, uh, you know. <laughs> Moral, so... moral code, but uh, Donnie, moral. Donnie personally uh, runs his heist like he runs his underwear, straight. What the fuck does that mean, Donnie? Quack. All right, I, I really don't know what he said there. I think it had something to do with live your own rules and die your own deaths. 
And meanwhile, Florence is saying, so it is a mind flare. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. What's a mind flare? <laughs> I love that you're just <laughs> like, we're going to kill the mind flare. No, man, it's not a <laughs> I love all the lying roles that you just don't bother to take because you know she won't believe you anyway. <laughs> oh my God, at this point, why, why even freaking bother? Holy <laughs> shit. So uh, Donnie says, so let's lay out his ideas for the plan. You can take separate sets of ideas if you'd like. Okay. But here's, here's how Donnie has it going. So, quack. I got a quick, oh. and I got one more question. Sure. Oh. How, how much of... Uh, hypothetically, how much of each of us are getting? Hypothetically. But Donnie says that uh, it's going to depend on how well the heist goes. Mm -hmm. It's like a GTA heist. Okay, but the, can I get a minimum amount? The, theoretically, he says as much as you can carry. Um, which is how much on us? I don't know what your carrying capacity <laughs> um, my carrying capacity is a number. So Don, uh, Don, Donnie says he'll explain how it'll all work as we go in, because it'll be part of the heist, the dealing and distribution of the rewards or whatever, gain, loot. So, okay. in the full scope of the heist, right? So the things you guys have done is so far obtain one piece of... Uh, Stationary from uh, mm -hmm. HR so that we can send out and cause the first distraction being the uh, the nice, you know, people being fired. That's actually still got some work to be done because we got to make copies of those papers. That's we got yeah. a couple hours to figure that out. They're, they're fi okay. trying to figure that out. That's what some other people are working on right now for this <laughs> for the team. <laughs> uh Another section of the team has been basically uh, jerry-rigging the guard shifts so that the guards won't be the best guards at this time. Okay. Otherwise, you might get wrecked. Oh, no doubt about that. There is we a, are very strong. There We're is, level five. There is a third team that has been working uh, inside of the food station. Basically giving Carlos, like, half of his usual amount of food. Okay. This way he'll be more prone to eat whatever the f we give him. And then the fourth team has been, uh, they actually didn't get their job done. They've been trying to figure out exactly what that credential is inside of there. You might be able to talk with them and see if they have some hints. Quack. All right, now Donnie says, here's how it goes from this point. Hopefully, you guys obviously can take him out in different sections, but here's how he believes it should work, hopefully. Over here, you would, uh, up near the food, you would take out the two different people who are supposed to be Carlos's food today. Cause, what? Take that what? Yeah. Because remember... Are we feeding people? Yeah, well, the job is to be food. Oh! <laughs> That's not what I picked up at all! Okay, sorry, sorry. I mean, Flora's kind of kind of figured that out, but, you know, I'm going to leave it alone. Like... I'm not going to touch no. it. No, 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 because, right, no one asks Flora's anything. <laughs> We're just reading up, like, fucking, uh, fucking, like, Lunchables or something. Damn! Okay, okay, yeah. take out the two yeah. people who are food. So, uh... Usually, uh, Carlos prefers living food. However, it's going to be really tough to stuff them full of enough poison to take out Carlos if they're alive. Mm -hmm. Like, real tough. Which is where our second uh, person comes in. You're going to have to meet with them over here and get the poison to insert into these people. Hopefully, this is, this is Donnie's plan, which then you will take through subterfuge, to the center and go about your, you know, job. You'll pretend to be them while sneaking those bodies down there to feed Carlos as a distraction. There will be a third team down there working on distracting Carlos from eating you. Awesome. Uh, so that, obviously, you can do the first part at any time ahead of the heist. Although getting the bodies in the 
good hidden situation could be difficult. Uh, the second part that will have to be done slightly before, although not necessarily exactly at the same time, since the shift changes roughly an hour before, you can use that time to take out the security guards in here. It's actually probably the best idea to take them out during the shift change, because otherwise it's going to be much more difficult to get inside of the security section. In fact, what might be easier is to take out the incoming security guards and pretend to be them while you change shifts. I like that idea. It will take a little more research on your guys' part, but I think you can do it with the help of Bob. The Sphinx. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once those security guards are taken out, you will have access to that entire security room. However, without the passcode, you won't be able to upload anything. You'll also need to uh, uh, send that passcode to the other team that is taking out the second security room, which is over here. It's a backup security room. This will also take out the magic dampeners. Okay, okay, okay. From here, we will be using a teleportation spell from the two people going down there to allow the rest of our team access to the actual opening of the safe. So will any of us be in that team accessing the opening of the safe? Uh, preferably two of you can or should be in that team. Uh, then what will happen is the people at our other locations, A, B... C, D, E, etc. will use their individual teleportation spell to get to that marked location. From there, we will be taking a secondary exit that's located inside of the bank vault. So you will only be able to take out as much as you can get out through that exit and what you can find in the roughly... 10 minutes until they actually react and get to us. Here's going to be the, the thing. There is probably going to be a pandemonium in the f 5 or 10 minutes that you need to do from setting the opening code to moving to your teleportation spot, right? Because it's not going to be a, like a scroll on you. It has to be a pre-appointed position. Uh-huh. Kind of like uh, Harry Potter and the you got like basic apparition, which, you know, whatever. But then you got like the shoe, the port keys that actually take you specific places. You guys will be carrying a port key basically down into the bank vault. OK. Does, does, okay. does that make sense to everybody? I believe so. Uh, Donnie so, does say gonna... there's only one big problem with the loot plan, and that is... Uh, it's uh, first come, first serve, uh, or first leave, first serve, really. So if you can get your hands on it and get out, it's yours. Hmm. Um, also, one more issue, because I'm going to ask this question. How many of us actually have bags to carry anything? I have a bag. But Donnie says he carries a hole. I want a bag of holding. Yeah, his isn't a bag of holding. It's just a hole. Like a portable hole. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you think Do you think Bob the Sphinx will give us like one to three bags of holding? I don't know why you would ever need that. Also, it's dangerous to hold more of those than one. I mean, I you know stuff into one all together, but each give each person here yeah. a bag. Of There's three of us. Look, I'm just saying, having t two of those in the same area can be very dangerous. Who's to say that what? your enemy doesn't take your bag of holding off you and stuff it in someone else's bag of holding? Then we're all fucked. Oh, it's it's fine. It'll just make a minor black hole event. Yeah, it's cool. We'll all die. One. How did you know that, Wedge? You learn things in the Cult of the Dragon. <laughs> I think that's kind of common knowledge at this point. Of You don't stuff mm -hmm. a... Anyway, How do you not know that. Heck, even I know it. I'm a bard, not a wizard, nerd. <laughs> I also said that okay, but uh, when you even got knows. called a nerd, is that really a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> is, that not, is that really a bad thing? Uh, 
fucking see. <laughs> Messed up the map. Oh god. So bad, dude. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> what else? How is that a bad thing again? No. So here's. I want to make sure that I'm correct here. Ah. So we need one or two people on the financial guy. Well, hold on. What's the point? What's the what's to stop us from getting that done early? Once you uh, steal his credentials, after about ten minutes, it's going to activate a transponder to the security rooms, Wolf security rooms. Even if we like go and talk to this uh, head of financials, yeah. As soon as be someone like, besides him touches it, lame. Okay. Um. It's kind of like DNA verification, but like an alarm. Mm -hmm. So we'll need one or two people on financials. Um, we need to kill security, uh, deal with security before that, during shift change, so about an hour before that. And we need at least one of us to pretend to be food for Carlos. Mm. All at the same time. Well, those last two at the same time. Where is the how far how far is it from the mind player head of financials guy to the uh teleportation to get to the vault? Um it's a little bit of a ways. It's on one of the ships. Specifically how long would it... it's right here. Okay. okay. You're gonna probably need Mike's help. Okay. How long would it take a Modron to get us from, like, security where we are to the vault door? Oh, like, well, to the port to the vault door, you mean? Uh, yeah. We're from security or from the head of financials? Or from where you're at now? Let's go, let's go with both the head of security and... I'm sorry, the, let's go with security and the head of financials. Uh, both of those are about equal distance. It'd probably take a little longer to get there from security because you got to get out of the secret security room. Mm -hmm. But roughly... Let's see, where is my, where is my measuring stick? Uh, I don't know. Like, five or six turns, so a minute or two. Okay. And by that time... Well, actually, you know, there's no reason to say that we would be in the secret security room. Well, no, because we have to put in the code, right? Mm -hmm. When he goes down. So the, the order of events basically go like this. You can take out security early and you can take out the uh, food early. But regardless, there will need to be at least one person in each of those locations at that time. As well as one person in the location who then gets the information, relays it to the person in security. Once they've relayed the information, they can immediately head off. Person in security needs to open the vault door and relay the information to the people in the other security room. They will turn off the magic inhibitors. They can then take off for the vault room. And at that time, when they open the vault, the person or persons who are pretending to be Carlos's feed will hopefully have gotten to the vault entrance, be able to enter the vault, and put in their port key. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Now, we can... can okay. You can definitely discuss some more of the little things, as well as uh, we had some side, you know, about putting in poison, maybe, or doing this, maybe, that, maybe. Uh... I will say there's a couple details that I want to point out. One uh, is that the security right has a checked entrance and exit. So you'll either have to overpower or disguise your way through. Whichever, whichever strategy you go through to get in there. Hmm. Once you're inside there, you will have the... Uh... Oh, sorry. No, you need the credential. No, no, no. Once you're inside there, you will be able to take them out, then use the credentials to input in... For that, uh, the other thing is where the body is, uh, there will be someone there checking people going into the body. You get what I'm saying? 
I think so. So, like, people who are checking the food to make sure it's, like, okay. Pretty much, yeah. They're, they're there to check to make sure you are the guys that are supposed to feed Carlos, and not guys just trying to get to the mm, vault or some shit. Hmm. Okay. So is that all of Donnie's ideas? Quack. Well, Donnie says he has a lot of ideas about, you know, uh, thermodynamics, but besides that, yeah. Okay. Okay. So. So, here's my thought. So. We take out security early. The, the, the security... Okay, so here's my idea. Okay, okay. So, hear me out. So. <sighs> when shift change happens, so about an hour before the whole heist starts, we take out the security team that's going to go into the security room. That'll probably be Wedge. But we want another person there, so I'll probably help him. Me and me and Florence will help. Uh, what? 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 Just, <laughs> just listen. <laughs> no, I love no, how no, she, no, no, no. I love how she's just like, wait, what? You heard her? <laughs> no! Uh, I'm gonna stop you there. <laughs> so, so, that's, that, that's an hour before the heist. And then I guess the, we have Wedge hang out in there for a few minutes. For an hour or so. You just hear and then... I know I, I heard what you said, but I'm still not catching the idea of me going along with this madness. Hold on. So, yeah, so Wedge is in there now, so now we're down a team member. So then, Florence and I... Mm. Actually, no. How about this? We started leaving earlier than that. We go to first the food, the food with the fake food. We kill them. We steal their clothes, so that they they're like, "Oh no, it's we're the food people. We're so sad about being the food. We don't want to be fed to Carlos." Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Um, and so we'll steal the food. We'll 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 bring the bodies to the poison people. That'll be like two hours before the heist happens, and the poison people can stuff the bodies with poison. Then, we all go down to the security area, and we kill, or deal with, I apologize, we deal with the security. Am I still on mute, Mike? Yes. No, really? You're good. Okay, good. Cool, cool. So then we deal with the security team, we leave Wedge in the security room. That's food and um, security dealt with. Then, Florence and I... Go up and deal with the head of financials, where we offer a deal. No. Where it does not necessarily be, we would not necessarily mean having to offer to rope him into the scheme. We could offer him something else. Um, Florence is looking at you. Wait a minute. Quick question. Well, all right, hmm. I never even did a role for what the heck mind players are. I thought you did. No, I never did, but I have a bad feeling about that ideal. Of I, thought she, I thought she got a crit on that. Wasn't that yeah, nature you yeah, but she didn't tell me anything about the Mind Flayers. Uh, you, oh. you, you know them. Okay, you, so... You know them. <laughs> you rolled a 20 in nature, I mean... Yeah, just checking, because I want to be certain what I'm about to say. Flores looks at Carly like, no. You do know what they like to eat, right? Brains. Wizards. Probably. Wizards. Literally wizards. Just imagine that. Just, just imagine a, Just imagine a mind flayer's like freezer is just like wizard pop, sorcerer sickle, and fuck. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's I'm where you... Yeah, but you're I'm not. Florence is not. Hmm. Fine, you can stay with the body then. And I'll go to the floor. I'll go to the mind flare alone. That's not a smart idea. No, that is not a smart idea. Fine, Florence, you can stay with the security in the security room. Fucking coward. And Wedge and I'll go to the the mind flare. Right, is everyone happy now, Princess? Oh my god. 
Florence gives her a look. Okay, I uh, so long. You do realize what happens to people, but you know, deal. With it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, so we offer the mind player a deal, and we get whatever the credentials are. Um, I should say before we even deal with the bodies for the food people, we actually. Uh, mm. we we actually are going to start talking to the people who are trying to figure out what the credentials are. We'll get them for clues first. Then we'll kill the food people, bring them to the poison people, have the body stuffed with poison, and then you know what we can do when the people checkpoint. Uh, the people at the checkpoint, the per they're actually going to be three pieces of food: one alive, two dead. And the one who's alive, going to be one of us, says they tried to escape, and we were like, no, so we killed them, but I'm fine being fed to a kraken, that's totally fine with me, I, that's been my dream. Um, and then we go kill security guards and all that shit. Um, yeah, so, so we get the credentials from the Mind Flayer. With by offering him a deal of some sort, Wedge and I will. Secure, Florence will be left in security. Then, what we'll do? Then, once we get the credentials, is we'll book it down to here for the security for the security room. Tell Florence the credentials. They'll put she'll put in the credentials and somehow get it to told to over here. Get the them over. Get get point C told. The credentials too, and then all three of us will run to the vault, and we'll scoop a bunch of money into our bags and bras and pockets, and then we'll run out the exit, live happily ever after. Right. I see no flaws in this plan. What? Well, Florence. Okay, I'm not. Thing. What did Donnie say? I told him I wasn't going to translate racism anymore. <laughs> Don't be fucking racist. Quack said, uh, well, he said something not kind about humans. It's a good thing I'm a... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a helpful. Yeah, Floris kind of looks at her like, uh... That's half. <laughs> There's only one partially human here. <laughs> Quack. Excuse me, excuse me, you don't know what half I'm um, elf of. <laughs> what, what the other half is? You don't know what my other half is. If it was something Let else, it's supposed to have the other half included. Listen. <laughs> you don't know. Bitch, I might be. You don't know my life. I, I could be. have very advanced glamour. <sighs> Quack. Johnny says you can't fool him. But the plan will work. So stop being fucking racist, Donnie, and tell me about my plan. That's obviously going to work. I see no flaws in it. Quack. Donnie says it's a plan. <laughs> it's a plan? Or is it, sorry, he said, it's a plan. No, wait, I had it right the first time. Uh. Quack. Sorry, Donnie, your inflections are weird. So, Donnie, how would you improve my plan, racist duck? <laughs> Quack. Well, I don't think they can do that. Donnie said that you just have to get rid of all the humans, but I don't see that happening anytime soon, so. Stop being Hitler! Quack. <laughs> How says, would you improve my plan? He said, he said besides that, uh, he would, uh, he would, uh, do a little, uh, a little bit of research into uh, the head of financials. Ask around, maybe, and see if you can learn what they want slash need and how yeah, you yeah. can do, you know, go about that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, it's up there with the figuring out the meeting with the team with the thing. Alrighty, yeah. cool. Quack. Oh, also, he said, uh, "Get a haircut, you hippie." I don't even know My who. Hair. I don't even know who Good. he was talking to, though. My hair is above shoulder length, just at my chin, and it's super curly, and it's adorable. Fuck you. Quack, he's, he said he wasn't talking about... Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's a then. Dirty movie. <laughs> okay. 
So, the plan is, step one, we meet with, I'm writing this down so I don't forget it next week. <laughs> we meet with um, the team the learning squad. about the head of financials credentials. Two. We ask around what this head of financials could want. Then three. Hopefully he does not want brains. I mean, we have Wedge. Uh, I You're not going to be there. Have brains. You're not going to be there anyway. What's the matter? I don't like me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I cared. Jeez. Oh, you care about us? That's so sweet. Anyway, step three. Okay, then. It's Florence. Okay. Florence, would you like a hug? No. I hug Florence. No. I hug Florence. No, that I hug you. Her. No, I am that hugging her. No, that heck you're not. I am hugging her. What do I roll for the hug? That's a grapple. Strength <laughs> or dexterity? What? It would be strength for you, dexterity, or acro uh, athletics for me. One of them. Yee. What she said. <laughs> Dirty 20. See? Oh. <laughs> Lawrence is getting this hug, and she just does not look like he's in <laughs> She's done with this hug for five seconds. <laughs> just, just proof that kindness can also be violence. <laughs> the only reason that she is not. I just want to remind people of that someday. Just like, yeah, violence can be kind. No, it can't. <laughs> Come here. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, can, you can crush somebody by hugging them. True. The hug was just a little bit too tight. That is exactly what they meant when they said, you know, kill them with kindness. That is literally <laughs> what it was meant for, was just, the bear hug. Just give them a big bear hug that breaks their ribs and causes the rib to puncture a lung. You're good. Then again, that does take quite a bit of strength in order to break someone's ribs with a bear yeah. hug and puncture a lung. This is why I say what I say. Florence has not the most amused face. <laughs> like, oh, gosh. Do not take whatever I say with, you know purpose. Yeah. Just don't think I don't want to have to expl uh, have to explain a body count. Wait. Explain what the heck happened to my life. Uh, oh, okay. that's that's sad. So step three is to kill the people who are Carlos's food, bringing the bodies to the poison team. Step four is, quote, deal with shifting security. <sighs> By the way, you're going to be hooking up your computer to that. What? What? I'm talking to Katie. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, yes, yes, Ashley, you are going to be hooking up your computer. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> Okay, so we're quoting, we're quote, dealing with the shifting security and take their place, leaving Florence in security. Then step five is make a deal with, with the mind flayer. Hopefully, and in the case of it, it asking for something like um, brains. Let's not hope to feed a feed wedge to him. It probably wouldn't what way. You ain't yeah, feeding me to shit. Or, yeah, it or, probably wouldn't want wedge. Yeah, but also don't feed me to it. That's You're not going to be there. I know that, but you can come get me, and I know how that goes. My intelligence is also 14. It might want me. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. 
Just, just, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't want Wedge because Wedge has an intelligence of nine. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> Wedge is a definite no, but you, you know, you're on the level. It's just you're not necessarily its most optimal victim as a, you know, bard. I'm even my charisma is 20. I'm charming as fuck, damn it. <laughs> it I don't know if shit. they can be charmed. I think they can, but I can't remember. They have advantage against being charmed. All right, that was it. Anyway. Yeah, that's the only thing. Against um, spells and other magical effects. Well, have fun with it. Because I, I, I bought a game that we play. Have fun. Yeah. Go to step six. Step six, then, is to book it back to the lower right with Jewel. Tell her the code. And then we all three run to yeah. the food drop off point, or no, to the magic point. Right? Is that right? So, yeah, you're going to be bringing your computer out here and hooking it up out here. I think all three of us then and it run to it. magic it's teleportation seven. point. Usually, bucks. So I paid like 15 instead of 60. Run to the magic teleportation point. Making deals is sexy, Michael. And go... It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Only for adults. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, okay, so... Katie the... bought me Borderlands 3, right? And I saw... What I thought was cross platform. It's not cross platform, it's cross play. Oh. So people on PS4 can play with PS5, people on Xbox One can play with people on Xbox X, but PC can't play with the, the others. Yep. But PC, you can play on Steam uh, with people who have it on Epic Games. Or whatever it was originally through before it was on Steam. So got it for my computer and got it for the PS4. Well, couldn't fund the one on the PS4 because it was a digital purchase that has already been downloaded. Mm. I feel like those should actually be easier to get back. <laughs> Right. Yeah, at, at least but, within a at least uh, within it, a certain it, amount of time. Like, all right, it's been two okay, days. Apparently. Yeah, this, Apparently, if you download a game, you can't return it. That's dumb. Because it's been added to your library. Makes a lot of fucking sense. I mean, eh. I'm gonna leave that. So I just went and bought uh, Warhammer The End Times Vermintide for both me and Katie to play. Now she just has to hook up her desktop. Mm -hmm. I want to confirm real quick with Donnie. And the DM, that step seven, after we book it back down to lower right where Jewel would be to tell her the credentials. Well, you're going to hook it up and download it tonight. So um, uh, you don't have to run for a lot of this. So when you're telling the credentials to the person on the right, you're going to have a brief sending Bring your stones. fucking desktop out here. I'll hook well, it up. Well. And I'll download it. What were you saying, Michael? Uh, I said I believe for a lot of those, especially for sending a codes and stuff, you'll have sending stones. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, use sending stone. Okay, so I get a sending stone, she gets a sending stone, and we call it a day to get to keep the sending stone. You'll actually need... I mean, they'll connect to some other sending stones, but yes, you will. Okay. But on a different, back to the it's back holdings. Idea. Do we get them, or do we just no? That happens. Or at least one? If nothing else, each of us gets something to, like, be able to carry it. The thing I currently have is this chest, kind of just, like, uh, Quack, Donnie says he doesn't really have anything, uh, but you could probably go talk to Bob or someone, and they'll hook you up with a sack or some shit. Step zero, talk to Bob. How about this? I go do. We'll do that in a second. Okay, okay. 
Um, so step seven here, after sending Stone Jewel to tell her the credentials, we'll book it actually from top right, while she then books it from lower right to the teleportation point into the vault. And then, and then we take as much as we can carry and leave. Right? Because yeah. we're leaving the bodies with the poison team. And then the so, poison team is... Is the poison team going to be dealing with feeding Carlos? Uh, and here, that was what they were going to say, too, is if you... If you... With certain exceptions, so... Uh, they are probably not going to be able to fight the security team off or get the... Uh, they they can help take some parts of actions. So say there's you have one slash two slots, right? For a lot of these where it's like you have one or two. If you need a second person and Donnie has somebody like Bob who can show up, he will send them with you to help out. They are just maybe not all as reliable as you may hope. Okay. You just never know. And obviously he's only got so many people who are free to do this depending on how shit's going down. Mm. Okay. Okay. And here's the next question. Uh-huh. So hypo since we're getting stuff from I'm getting stuff from Bob. Well, everyone else is getting easily, you know. I'm guessing, are we going to be at least mildly equipped for this? Just oh yeah, we're good. You're good. Not me. Fact. Donnie says you don't have a weapon yet, huh? That, that's one. And the other thing <laughs> is no armor. Really. Oh. And the only armor is overrated. I thought we talked about getting you, like, fancy armor or whatever. We when I got mine. Armor. Yeah, yeah, you, but you kind of left me out the hang dry, remember? You uh, you said, Florence, you're on your own? No. Yes. I swear there was a whole time where we had you going through the whole book looking for armor. Yeah. We did. Yeah, but it, and, and at one point, Carly wanted the loot. And she, the DOS loot. And she was like, well, Florence, you're on your own to pay for it. I remember that cover. You gave her chocolate, didn't you? The the uh, you're on your own was for her figuring out how to get out of the carnival or no. not carnival of the casino not the no. not the payment because no. I didn't pay for any of this shit they just gave it to me yeah no because you were ready to pay for it until Donnie showed up and Donnie kind of negotiated the shit after that because I know I remember that one <laughs> then Jewel is gonna get her stuff from Bob. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so what I'm hearing from the DM is that one of us should be with the feeding team. Definitely. To... If, you know, if you want to make sure everything's going right. It would essentially put one of you on each of the stations. And then you'd have to use your sending stones to, you know, talk with each other, and interact, and, you know, cooperate. Okay, so after, at, then after we, quote-unquote, deal with the shifting security, that's when we have to split, and we'll be three teams of one. Interesting. Interesting. That's what I'm hearing. What do you guys think of that? Cool. Uh, so, my last five steps then are not correct. So, after we quote unquote deal with shifting security, Jewel is going to be in security. We're going to leave her there. Wedge should go with the poison team because you might also have to help fight off, fighting off a Kraken. And I'm more persuasive, blah, 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 blah. So we should leave Wedge. With the poison people. Poison team. Oh, 
My only concern there is having Wedge not be persuasive enough to get the bodies into feeding the Kraken. Quack. Donnie says, why not leave the uh, the sea elf to, you know, take charge of going into the sea? Good idea. Why did I say Florence would be a security? Quack. I don't remember. Because I, there was no way in hell I was going to deal with a mind flare. Oh, right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, you'll just be, leave you'll be left with the body. Best here. Wedge is, Wedge is going back to security. Florence will be left with a poison team. Okay, okay. So this will be one hour before heist. <laughs> where all three of us are going to deal, quote unquote, deal with the shifting security team, get Wedge to take their place, and leave Wedge in lower security. Then Florence and I are going to head up, and I'm going to leave Florence in the middle with the poison team. Where you're going to deal with getting the body or bodies into Carlos's feeding area. So I'm going to leave Florence there, and then I am going to continue on and make a deal with the Mind Flayer. Got a quick question. Uh-huh. So, for dealing with this whole transitioning to Carlos's um, feeding area, what am mm -hmm. I going to be dealing with, per se? Since, you know, good questions to ask. She kind of looks towards Donnie for that. What? what am I... So Donnie says that uh, the body is supposed to be poisoned so that when Carlos eats that body, he will get sick. There's also a team that's supposed to be distracting Carlos. Uh, they're going to be releasing some pheromones into the water. Okay, but... Now... That sounds like a job for the sea elf. Death. <laughs> Or Whack. Just... Please tell me I can toss something at him. I mean, that's up to your character. I'm not. It's not worth it at all. Uh, anyway. Could... But the quick question is, because you said something's going to be checking, you know, before we, you know, deal with Carlo. Oh, yeah. There. So basically, uh, there's like a plank at the edge of the ship there, near the center of the water, obviously. Mm -hmm. And they're just basically making sure that you are the people scheduled to be you know, thrown in, and that you don't have anything on you that you could fight Carlos with, necessarily. Well, shit. So you don't, you don't have a weapon, then. You know what? How about this? When you talk to Bob, and you get your bag, you keep your bag, but you give me the, you give me the weapon, and I'll keep it, I'll see, keep it safe for you. Okay. But my bigger thing is, wait a minute, wouldn't it be kind of dumb to throw a sea elf into the water to eat? Well, uh, you gotta remember, these are willing participants most of the time. They're basically being paid good money to become food for the Kraken. Or, you know, paying off their debts. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be a lot of questions. So it's more of, I'm gonna have to hand floor, uh, car, um, bag and my um, weapon, hypothetic. Cause Armor, they're not going to question, but they see the bag, that's going to be a little bit questionable. Alright, one more time? Maybe. I said more or less. Um, so I'm going to have to give Carly my bag and what? Hypothetic. Uh, yes, for a limited amount of time. You can also store yeah. it in a location that you can get to later, or that would be transported to you. I can just hold her bag. But the um, weapon's not going to be in the bag. So it's yeah, your weapon in your bag. No, no, not, the weapon's not going to be in the bag. Your weapon, comma, and your bag. Okay. Separate. Two things. Yeah. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, dun. I just like, wait a minute, you do realize... The power of the I... comma. Yeah, I love commas. Yeah. Um. So, so... Well, I'm making, after I'm done making a deal with the Mind Flayer, we're not going to question how I do that. Um, I'm then sending Stone Wedge the code or credentials or whatever it is, who will send it to secondary security, and then both of us are going to start rushing to the teleportation port to get to the vault. Right? Uh, just, 
Yeah, but quick question for you. When you're making this idea, please don't make it be maybe the central point. I don't deal with other people. I know that, but just don't make it, you know. Brains, probably, or some form of intelligence one. You'll be left out of my deal. Thank you. And so will Wedge. Thank you. So, that's correct, though, right? That after I sending Stone the codes... I, that Wedge and I both rush to our respective teleportation ports to get in the vault. Yes. Okay. Do we know how to use those? Quack. Do you? <laughs> I mean, Florence has an idea how to use a sending stone. Not the sending stones. The teleportation part. Well, I can't help you with that. <laughs> I'm not. Can't, I'm not gonna be there. You can show us how to use it now, though. Can I? Can you? You're not very wizardy if you can't teach people how to use a scroll. <laughs> you know what? I could always just miss make a mishap with your instructions. You know that, right? That's fine. Wedge has things in plan. I was being a... I was... Sorry. That's okay. Wedge has things in plan. Quack. But I do have so, so, our plan all written out. Quack. Donnie hmm? says that he might as well tell you how to get into the vault. Yeah. But it's that way you know exactly how to uh, use the port keys. Back. So Donnie says that at the edge of the tables, in the tip of that ship, there is going to be a specially colored stack of chips. Alright? So this is, this is for the teleportation ports? Mm -hmm. What you have to do is grab one of those chips, snap it, and say, I'm a pretty princess. Nice. Yeah. We figured most people wouldn't do those actions or say those words in that, you know, sequence. And say, quote, I'm a pretty princess? Yeah. We did have this one problem with Madonna, though. <laughs> da -dum -tsh. Hitting the jokes. Uh... Okay, where did you have that? Did what? I? I don't know, what? does he? <laughs> What? Hmm. Do you want me to write it on your hand? Say what? Do you want me to write it on your hand? <laughs> Have fun. What are we writing on my hand? That I'm How a to pretty teleport? princess. How to teleport to the vault? Yeah, say I'm a pretty princess. What do you do before that? Snap some guy's dick. <laughs> Not close. You're not correct. No. I heard something about snapping. Snapping is right. What you're going to want to do is go to the specially colored stack of chip at the head table of each chip. Grab a special, special colorful chip off of a stack and snap it and say, I'm a pretty princess. I mean, I don't think you're a princess, but we'll go with that. Wedge. See, Wedge. I knew. I see. I, I'm not going to this. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to Bob for a second. Well, at least you Wait, are we out. done? Are we done? Are we good? Donnie we says uh, the only thing you, you'll have to be very careful about is the timing of your interactions. You'll have to realize it's going to take a little time for, uh, you know, Florence to make it down to where uh Carlos is. Uh -huh. So you'll want to make sure to get that password to her with not too much time for her to get in there, right? You're trying to give yourself the maximum amount of time to get into the uh vault and loot as much as possible, right? 
Right. So, uh, to do that, you only have a certain amount of time, roughly 15 to 20 minutes after you take the credentials from the head of finance. Because okay. then it'll set off the security alarm. And then you will have a little bit of time after that, actually, what, where they act to get to you, etc., and figure it all out. But, yeah, that, that is a thing. I just wanted to remember it. You know, remind you. Mm-hmm. And so you'll need to time those actions out, how much time it'll take for you to get the credentials versus them diving down there. And obviously that also depends on other things. And you might learn more as you go that might change your plan but i just wanted to remind you that the timing is a big deal for this one yeah i have written down in the margins we're going to quote unquote deal with security an hour before the heist and i'm going to leave florence with the poison team 45 minutes before the heist and then i'm going to go up uh to the top corner and wait for the right time now florence is going to have the sending stone right so you're actually going to have a couple different pairs of sending stones which is why it was important to decide who is going where, because they send stones basically work in pairs. Okay, so would I have two stones? Uh, you would have two stones, and then uh, Michael, sorry, Wedge would also have two stones. God damn it. Okay. Okay, this will be okay. We'll, we'll do this. It'll be, it'll be totally fine. To be so, fair, I mean, as long as you keep track of them, you'll be alright. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So, they'll have a pair. Um, me, Lawrence, and who will have a pair? You'll have one. Okay. I don't think you need two. So, I don't need a pair. Yeah, so you just need one. Because you're just, you're the one who uh, interacts with the plan, and you don't have any, like, password you're receiving. He's straight just opening the doors for you. So now here's my question. Can can Florence hang out outside of the vault door for a couple minutes? I mean, theoretically, yes, but don't forget that Carlos is down there. And while we are poisoning him and distracting him, that's only going to work for so long against a Kraken. Not only that, but Florence can swim, so it's not a big problem of, you know, holding her breath. Yeah, holding that's her breath right. isn't really the issue. The real issue is uh, Carlos. Yeah. Uh, okay. Trust me, she's not gonna drown, so... Okay, so here's my idea. Uh, after I leave Florence with the poison team, I'm gonna go up to the right corner and wait. And while I'm waiting, I'll probably give it... I'll have about 15 minutes before the heist starts is when I'll start making that deal with the, with the Mind Flayer. Gotcha. That's the plan, at least. It might change when we learn more info about what he wants. So that way, hopefully, at the end of those 15 minutes, the heist will begin. The 10 minutes will start. I will message um, um, message Wedge. But first, I want, I, want, I, I want to, before I make the deal with Mind Flare, I want to tell Florence that I'm going to be making the deal with the Mind Flare, get into position. I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. I don't like splitting the party. I mean, typically that's something you're not supposed to do is split the party. This is true. However, this one is both a combination of keeping the party and uh, splitting the party, but working together in tandem. Okay. Well, is everyone comfortable? Everyone understand what their role is in this? Yeah. Florence? Hmm? You good? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, okay. So is there anything else we need to know, Donnie? Black. Uh, Donnie says that that's all he knows for now, but he will keep cool. you updated if he can. 
Cool. Where are our sending stones then? I'm guessing Bob has them. Bob might have them. Back. Uh, yes, Bob has most of the stuff actually. Yeah. All right. Donnie says that he looks fly as hell, but has no pockets. Yeah, I'm guessing only the portable hole on. Yeah. Quack. Yeah. I bet it's your butthole. Quack. Donnie says it's his one spot, but you can't see it because he's already all black. It's his butthole. Quack. Donnie. Donnie would appreciate it if you don't talk about his butthole. <laughs> while they're talking, and while they're going about that, Ken Ford's going ahead to meet Bob. I'll go with you. You sure? You, you sure? You seem like you're having a nice conversation with um. I'm good. Donnie. Donnie. I'm good. About, about um. Buttholes. Oh, yeah. Hun, we're not supposed to talk about his butthole. You're the one that brought it up, and I'm just asking a simple question. I'm good. So, let's go talk to Bob. 